Hi guys, so today's video is going to be all about the color mint green. Um, actually, mint green, kind of like turquoise, bluish green. I've just been thoroughly obsessed with this color this season. Um, it's gotten to the point where when I just walk into a store, I just gravitate towards anything that's mint green. I just spot it from afar and I just, uh. first I just want to get something out of the way. I had a subscriber request that I show my hair straight, so I just quickly kind of straightened my hair this morning. Um, so I think she wanted to see the, um, I guess get a better sense of how long my hair is. So here you go, Eva, or Ava, I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. My hair just goes a little bit past, you know, those girls, maybe get a better sense of it. Uh, the back. Okay, so back to the topic of this video. Today's video is going to be all about mint green. I love mint green, like, hello, my EOS lip balm is right here. So the first thing I want to talk about is my spring handbag that I just picked up maybe a month ago. Um, I got it at Marshalls but it was still pretty pricey and I was pretty surprised at how expensive it was but I just saw the color and I just knew I had to have it. So it's this purse. It looks like this. It's kind of like a slouchy leather purse and it's got a little bit of like a woven detail in the center here and it has two straps here. It's all leather um, even though it's this kind of bright mint green color. It's got a longer strap here that's just a, you know, just a regular strap, I guess. It's just, um, I don't know what these are called, like a knit strap. Um, and it's by the company, um, Sophia B. I've never heard of it before, but I really like the inside as well. Sorry, there's some stuff in it. But it's, this is the name of the brand. Sophia B with an F actually, Sophia. Um, and I love the inside, it's pretty spacious. And the inside stripe. I absolutely love this bag for an everyday bag even though it is such a bright color because I like to use it as like a pop of color when I'm just wearing kind of a neutral outfit. Or, you know, it's just a great spring bag if you're wearing like a floral top and it's got accents of green in it. This would just bring it out even more. And I absolutely love this purse. Um, given the price of it, I still love it because of how much use I've gotten out of it so far. I've only had it for about a month. And I can see myself wearing this every spring and summer. Okay, so that's my first kind of mint green purchase. Um, then I guess I'll just talk about the top that I'm wearing right now. This is from H&M. It's just a button-down uh, sleeveless top, and it's got a pocket right here. And just a nice, like, kind of silky material. I guess it's kind of like satiny. I'm not too sure what it's made out of. It's just got some nice gold detailing in the buttons, which I really like because it just makes it a little bit more dressed up and makes it look like a lot better quality than it is. Okay, so I guess um, it would be appropriate to talk about the necklace that I'm wearing next. This is my very first Etsy purchase. I was really excited about it. Um, I absolutely love the website. I just love what it represents about how, you know, sellers from all around the world can just sell their own handmade jewelry, um, crafts. Just There's so much stuff on Etsy, and I can spend hours on the website. This is my very first Etsy purchase, and it was really affordable, I think. Uh, with shipping and tax and being that it came all the way from Australia. I think it was uh, Around 14 or 15 dollars. I'm not too sure. I will link the sellers information down below But I absolutely love it I've been looking for a pair of mint green pants for quite a while now and I first bought a pair from J. Crew. They're the toothpick jeans I believe in this kind of like minty color and I, oh my god, it pained me so much to pay $130 for them. I had them for about like two days and I was contemplating whether or not I should keep them or return them. And I ended up returning them because it was just too much money for something that I feel like is just a little bit trendy. Um, so I did find an alternative at H&M, obviously. Um, and they were only, I think, around $25, which is great. Um, it was like a fifth of the J. Crew price. So, and they looked really similar, the color itself. I mean the toothpick jeans from J. Crew were a little bit um, cropped and they also had a little bit of a zipper detailing at the end. But I wanted long pants because I'm a little bit on the taller side and I feel like cropped pants just make me just cut off my legs a little bit and they make my legs look a little shorter. So I found this mint pair at H&M and they were $24.95. They just look like this and they're the perfect 
mint color. Look at that color. Um, I was so happy to find these and I was so happy to return the J. Crew ones because they were so expensive and it burned a hole in my wallet. I'm super excited to wear them. This is what they look like and they are a long skinny jean. So the next item I got from Marshalls and it was $39.99. It's just a long really nice flowy skirt and this also goes along with the trend of high-low skirts that I've seen a lot this spring and it's got an inner lining that's a little bit on the short side. I don't know if you can see that it ends right around, where is it, like there? And then it just goes off on into this long flowy skirt. It's got a high-low hemline that I really love and it's just a really nice cut, bright kind of minty turquoisey color and it's just got this nice kind of uh, what is this called like an accordion detailing I haven't quite figured out how to style it but I can just imagine it with just a plain white tank top maybe this necklace and a pair of sandals so I'm really excited to wear this it's gonna be really nice and cool and flowy to wear in the summertime when it's gonna be super hot I've been on like a, a hunt for jeans and skirts and bottoms because um, I don't have that many um, so why not get them all in green, I guess. Um, this next purchase that I got uh, is a pair of shorts. And it's a super bright green color. And these I got from Macy's. They're by the brand American Rag. You guys can see that. I really like the way that these shorts fit. They're not incredibly short. Um, they don't ride up your butt or anything, which I hate when it comes to shorts. And yeah, I just obviously love them because of this bright green color. The last um, piece of clothing, or I don't know, this is just a jacket or like a windbreaker, but I've been really obsessed with um, like green jackets. I am pretty much a, like a, a girly girl, I guess, but I also like to dress up a little tomboyish at times because I just like to be comfortable. Um, this jacket I got from North Face, and it's this bright green color as you can see. So I find that rain jackets are really helpful in the spring, obviously when it starts raining. It ra it's been raining a lot here in New York. Today was like the first sunny day in quite a while. And I've been finding a lot of use out of this jacket. It's not thick, it doesn't look, it's not like a thick winter jacket or anything. It's pretty thin and um, it just blocks you from the wind. It's just a nice thin windbreaker. So I've been really liking this. I also have this in like a nice coral color. So I love this jacket. It's probably one of my favorite jackets to wear when I'm outdoors. And I get a bunch of compliments on these bright colored North Face jackets. So I feel like if you live on the East Coast or live where, somewhere where it rains a lot, um, you will definitely find use out of one of these jackets. And it just got really dark. And the name of that North Face jacket is the Women's Resolve Jacket, and it's in the color Bonnie Blue. I went to a, a Yankee game last night, and I wore this, and it was so handy because it was drizzling a little bit during the day, and um, it was cold at night, so this really blocked me from the wind. I love this jacket. You can also tuck in the hood, and velcro it so that it's kind of out of the way. So the next item isn't quite all mint green. It's got little accents of mint green so I thought I'd mention it in this video because I think it would be really nice to um, wear it with something mint green like this shirt for instance. And it's this necklace by Forever 21. These aren't real like heavy gems. I think it's just like plastic but I think it's just super nice for the spring because it's got all those past Pascal, all these pastel colors that I will definitely be sporting this spring. So, yeah! This would make a nice headpiece, no? Okay, so the last mint green product that I want to show you is nail polishes! Yay! I absolutely love mint green nail polishes. They just make me so happy and I'm so glad that companies are coming out with more and more mint green colors to keep up with the trend. The first one that I want to mention is um, the Wet n Wild Mega Last Nail Color. And this is in the color I Need a Refreshment. I featured this in one of my recent favorites videos and it's in this beautiful mint green color. These are in $1.99. You have to go out and get these because I really like the formula. It's nice and opaque. The brush, it, the brush head is 
different. It's uh, a lot on the thicker side, so it only takes like two strokes to cover your whole nail. And I absolutely love these Wet n Wild Mega Last Nail Polishes. The next one I want to talk about is by Revlon, and it's fittingly enough called Minted. And it's the perfect mint green color. <laughs> Look at that. I guess. Yeah, it's really similar to the color of my shirt. So it's this perfect mint green color. I mean, it's called Minted. So um, I feel like everybody should have this in their nail polish collection. I absolutely love this. I don't know how I forgot about this item. It's because it's probably my favorite out of my entire mint green haul. And it's this. Uh, it's First of all, I love the free people bags. I just love how they're like an actual material, I guess, instead of like a paper or plastic bag. I just think it's such a nice touch. So kudos to you, free people. And it's this gigantic, faded, kind of mint green, hello, um, American flag scarf. And I got this from free people. I like to wrap it around so that the stars kind of peek out on one side. And yeah. I love this scarf. I, forgot, I completely forgot about the earrings that I'm wearing. Um, I should probably show those too because they are certainly mint green. I love studs. I just think they're so simple and elegant. And these are just plastic. They're super cheap. I think I got them from Forever 21. I want to say last year. So I don't know if you can still find them or maybe you bought them last year. I'm not quite sure. but Or you can look for something that's similar like this. But I've just been loving these little mint green plastic rose studs. I just think that there's a nice pop of color against your skin. Alright, so that concludes my video all about these mint green items that I've picked up over the past month or two. Actually excluding those nail polishes because I got those quite a while ago. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.